Have you ever wondered what the future holds for the iconic Jeep brand? What about their plans to go fully electric? Well, buckle up because this is going to go be a wild ride. And Jeep, in collaboration with its parent company Stellantis, has recently reached a tentative labor agreement with the UAW United Auto Workers Union. This agreement has thrown some exciting future production plans into the spotlight. And their most notable of these plans is the introduction of fully electric versions of the popular Wrangler and Grand Cherokee models. So the Wrangler EV is expected to make its debut in 2028, while Grand Cherokee and EV is scheduled to arrive a year earlier. The production of the Wrangler EV will take place at the Toledo Assembly Complex, and while the Grand Cherokee EV will be manufactured at the Detroit Assembly Complex. Um, in addition to these electric models, Jeep has plans to release new all-electric Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer vehicles in 2027. These models will be based on the STLA frame um, uh, to support the transition to an electrified future. Stellantis has committed to investing $19 billion by April 2028. This investment will be directed towards new battery plants, facility upgrades, EV training, and the development of entirely new electric vehicles. Approximately $9.4 billion of this investment will be allocated to three new battery plants. And while we eagerly await the arrival of the Wrangler EV, Grand Cherokee EV, and the electric Wagoneer models, Jeep enthusiasts can also look forward to the upcoming releases of the Jeep Recon and the Wagoneer S. Exciting times lie ahead for Jeep and its electrification efforts. And here's a little joke to end it all. Why don't Jeeps like to play hide and seek? Because good luck finding them in the dark. They're greater at going off road. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.